I'm Big Tractor Power fans. Welcome to the 2000th video from the channel. Big Tractor Power YouTube was launched on August 11th, 2010. Over the years, the channel has grown to 300,000 subscribers and has had over 169 million views. During this video, I would like to share with you my top 11 favorite articulated four-wheel drive tractor finds. These are big tractors that have seen 200 or less units manufactured. We'll take a look at the tractor's production history, why they are so rare, as well as the engine specifications and the original price tag. So let's head out to the field to see these limited production articulated four-wheel drive tractors at work. The Ford 1156 is a rare tractor and is the largest tractor ever produced under the Ford Motors brand. This machine was initially introduced by the Versatile Tractor Company in 1985. Ford acquired Versatile in 1987 and beginning in 1990, the Versatile name and traditional red, yellow, and black colors were phased out for the Ford blue and white color scheme. The tractor is powered by an 18.8 liter, 1,150 cubic inch Cummins KTA 1150 engine, rated at 470 engine horsepower. The farm economy during the 1980s was extremely poor, and the 1156's price tag of $171,000 made it a big ticket item many farms could not afford. During its production life from 1985 through 1991, less than 200 units were manufactured, and during its final year of production under the Ford brand, very few blue and white tractors rolled off the Winnipeg, Manitoba assembly line. The Rome Plow Company acquired the Woods and Copeland tractor line, which included Four different models ranging from 375 to 600 horsepower in 1976. Woods and Copeland was based in Katy, Texas, and tractor production was moved to Cedartown, Georgia. The Rome 475C was the second largest tractor available from the company, manufactured from 1978 through 1986. It came from the factory powered by a Caterpillar 18 liter 1,100 cubic inch model 3408 V8 engine. It can also be powered with a six cylinder Cummins KTA 1150 engine, which is powering the tractor featured in this video. The Rome 475C came with a price tag of $130,000 when it was new. The Rome tractors were definitely a significant powerhouse during the late 1970s and early 1980s, but very few of these big articulated tractors were produced. The Alice Chalmers Corporation was founded in 1901 and manufactured a full line of farm equipment through 1985. The company fell on hard economic times with an agriculture industry downturn in the early 1980s. One of the last new tractors introduced by the company was the Model 4W220, produced at the company's West Alice, Wisconsin tractor factory from 1982 through 1984. It's powered by a 7-liter, 426 cubic inch Alice Chalmers engine, rated at 220 engine horsepower and 186 PTO horsepower. The original price tag for the 4W220 was $74,000. There were a total of 175 units produced. John Deere is one of the best known brand names in farm equipment manufacturing. The company was founded in 1837 and began producing tractors in Waterloo, Iowa in 1918. The early John Deere tractors were powered by two cylinder engines which produce a unique sound that led to the nickname of Johnny Popper. In the 1950s, the company began to focus on higher horsepower six cylinder engine tractors 
and launched its new era in tractor production in 1959 with its first articulated four-wheel drive tractor, the Model 8010. The 8010 only saw one unit produced and was quickly upgraded to the Model 8020 in 1961. The 8020 is powered by a 7-liter Detroit diesel 671 cubic inch engine rated at 215 engine horsepower. The Model 8020 was a big tractor for its time period, and articulated machines were a new concept for many farmers. During the early 1960s, a big row crop tractor was around 70 to 100 horsepower and had a price tag of around $10,000. The 215 horsepower Model 8020 with a $30,000 price tag priced it out of the market for many farmers, and a total of 99 units were produced. Steiger has been the top name in articulated four-wheel drive tractors for over 60 years. The first Steiger tractor was built by the Steiger brothers in their family dairy barn during the winter of 1957 and 1958. Steiger tractors gained a lot of popularity during the 1960s, and in 1969, Steiger Tractors Incorporated opened a major factory in Fargo, North Dakota, that began producing the popular four-wheel drive tractor line using cat names like Wildcat, Bearcat, Cougar, Panther, and Tiger. By 1977, the company had manufactured over 10,000 articulated four-wheel drives. From 1973 through 1974, the largest tractor available from Steiger was the Turbo Tiger One. A total of 97 units were built at a price of $42,000 when the tractor was new. The Turbo Tiger One is powered by a 14.8 liter Cummins VT903 turbocharged 903 cubic inch V8 engine rated at 320 engine horsepower. One of Steiger's top selling tractors during the 1970s and 1980s was the Panther. The very first Panther model offered by the company was the Panther II, introduced in 1974 and manufactured through 1975. The Panther II was built in Fargo, North Dakota, and is powered by a 14-liter, 855-cubic-inch Cummins engine rated at 310 engine horsepower. The Steiger Panther II ended up being a signature edition model starting in July of 1975, Customers were able to order a special bicentennial Spirit of 76 Steiger tractor during the late 1975 production period to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the United States. This American flag painted tractor was offered for the Cougar II, the Panther II, and the Turbo Tiger II. A total of 37 units were painted up in the patriotic colors, by Walt's Body Shop in Fargo, North Dakota. John Deere entered the articulated four-wheel drive tractor market in a major way in the early 1960s with the Model 8020. Unfortunately, this tractor's size and price tag was more than many farms could take on during that time period. By the late 1960s, articulated four-wheel drive tractors were exploding in popularity. Due to demand, John Deere decided to re-enter the market, but this time outsourced the four-wheel drive tractor production to the Wagner Company, owned by FWD of Portland, Oregon. Wagner built two different models for John Deere starting in 1969, the Model WA-14 and Model WA-17. The WA-14 is powered by a 14-liter Cummins 855 cubic inch engine rated at 225 engine horsepower. There were only a total of 23 WA-14s produced from 1969 through 1970. John Deere then began producing its own four-wheel drive tractor, the Model 7020. The WA-14 was priced at $36,000 when it was brand new.
The Steiger Tiger III was the largest tractor available from the company from 1977 through 1982. Interestingly, this tractor was designed and developed by an engineer that originally worked as part of the team that brought the John Deere 8020 tractor to market back in the early 1960s. The Tiger III was introduced in 1977 as the model ST450. It was powered by a Cummins KTA 1150 engine. This engine was upgraded from 450 to 470 horsepower in 1979, and the new Tiger III ST470 was rolled out of Fargo, North Dakota. The model ST450 remained in production from 1980 through 1982, and it offered a Caterpillar 18-liter 1,000 cubic inch model 3408 V8 engine rated at 450 horsepower. There were only a total of 20 Caterpillar V8 ST450s produced during the last two years of production. The ST450 with the Caterpillar 3408 V8 engine had a list price of $176,000. The ST470 with the six-cylinder KTA 1150 engine had a list price of $181,000. The slight difference in price between the two models and the higher horsepower rating of the ST470 most likely gave the higher horsepower tractor the sales advantage during the last two years of production of the Tiger III. <laughs> International Harvester is an iconic farm machinery brand that traces its origins back to 1831 when Cyrus McCormick introduced his Reaper. McCormick's Reaper Company merged with Deering Reapers in 1902 along with several other farm equipment manufacturers to form International Harvester. The company began producing tractors in 1911 and introduced the popular Farmall tractor line in 1923. In 1984, Tenneco, the parent company of J.I. Case, another tractor producer, acquired International Harvester's agriculture assets to form Case International. The newly formed Case IH decided to consolidate its tractor production by focusing on manufacturing at the J.I. Case factory located in Racine, Wisconsin. As a result, the International Harvester Farmall Works, located in Rock Island, Illinois, that produced over 5 million tractors, was closed. The factory remained open from November of 1984 through May of 1985. Prior to the merger in November of 1984, International Harvester had just launched a new line of Super 70 Series tractors. This tractor had a front forward engine design and articulated in front of the tractor's cab. This was an update to the company's popular 2 plus 2 tractor introduced back in 1979. The model 7288 saw a few short months of production with a total of 19 units being built in Rock Island, Illinois before the factory closed on May 14, 1985. The 7288 is powered by an International Harvester 7.6 liter 466 cubic inch engine rated at 210 engine horsepower and 175 PTO horsepower. The original list price for a 7288 when it was new was $83,000. Ervil Jackson began manufacturing articulated four-wheel drive tractors in Edgley, North Dakota in 1969. He offered three different models ranging from 160 to 265 engine horsepower. The mid-range model was the 444, originally powered by an 8.3 liter Cummins 504 cubic inch V8 model V504C engine, rated at 210 engine horsepower. Unfortunately, Mr. Jackson passed away in 1972 after producing a total of 16 tractors. The model 444 that you see in this video has been repowered with a Detroit 
6V92 engine, which is a 9 liter 552 cubic inch engine block, also rated at 210 horsepower. The model 444 original price tag was $17,000. The Big Bud 16V747 is the world's largest tractor. Built in 1977, it is powered by a 24.1 liter, 1,472 cubic inch Detroit Diesel 16V92T engine currently rated at 1,100 horsepower. This big machine weighs in at 130,000 pounds and stands 25 feet wide with its LSW dual tires. In comparison, today's largest modern articulated four-wheel drive tractors weigh in at about 60,000 pounds and are rated anywhere from 620 to 640 engine horsepower. The original price tag of the 16V747 was $300,000 in 1977, that would be an equivalent price in today's dollars of $1.3 million. This monster tractor was built by Northern Manufacturing in Haver, Montana. The company produced Big Bud tractors from 1969 through 1991. The first tractor produced was rated at 250 engine horsepower, and one of the last Big Bud tractors manufactured was rated at 740 engine horsepower. A total of 500 Big Buds were built during that time period, but only one 16V747 was ever produced. I hope you've enjoyed spending time out in the field hearing and seeing these limited production articulated four-wheel drive tractors at work. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video what your favorite tractor was in the feature or what your all-time favorite Big Tractor Power YouTube video is, or just tell me about your all-time favorite tractor. If you would like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are 2,000 videos featuring farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional content for the channel, watch the video for just a few more seconds to the end screen, where you can see a full feature on the Big Bud 16V747 tractor, and the spirit of 76, Steiger Panther II. As always, thank you for watching. <laughs>